When I start work on a guitar neck, I firstly measure how much of the material I will need. I count 200mm for the headstock and then around 500mm for the length of the neck. The excess is then cut off and saved for future projects. The blank isn't cut to be slightly over 80mm. This leaves just enough width for my headstock. Before putting the neck through the thickness, I like to make one face flat with a hand plane. The thickness are tends to be snipe at the end of the blank, so I then plane the final millimetre off by hand. Next edge of the blank is squared. This will serve as a reference when routing the truss rod and carbon fibre slots. In this next clip, I'm marking out the headstock angle. Using trigonometry, I know that if I measure 90mm back from the start of my headstock and connect the lines, I'll end up with a 14 degree back angle. Using a half inch blade on my bandsaw I'm then able to cut along my proposed scarf joint line. Placing both sections of the neck on top of each other and then able to plane the sum marks out in preparation for glue. As my headstock will be 14mm thick without veneer, I like to glue a thickness of 50mm and then plane down until my desired thickness. By clamping the neck down on the shooting board, I'm then able to use the stop to ensure the headstock doesn't slip past 15mm with glue. The edge of the neck is then screwed up one more time. This will actually be the last time I use this method as I find a much more efficient and reliable system of routing the truss rod and carbon fibre slots. No headstock breaks for me. <coughs> now I'm preparing the headstock for its ebony veneer. It is at this time that I also take its thickness down to 14mm. It's important that the surface is flat and smooth. I'm now marking out the lines for the truss rod and carbon fibre slots. I 
down a small piece of brass and lathe to help locate the lines. I recently upgraded my router. I now have a plunge feature and can route a truss rod and carbon fibre slot in as little as two passes. A perfect fit. The router leads the slots rounded at the ends. With a 6mm chisel I'm able to square them up for the truss rod. By clamping the ebony veneer to my bench, I was then able to clean the veneer ready for going to the headstock. A good tip for planing the angle into the veneer is to place a scraper under the plane. This will prevent any unnecessary damage to the neck. I like to drill locator holes to stop the veneer from slipping when glue is applied. It's strange how glue acts as a lubricant before an adhesive. The locating pins are simply toothpicks which can be glued with the veneer. Three might be slightly overkill, but better safe than sorry. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in plans for this guitar, please visit my website. There will be a link in the description.